So kia ora. I'm here with a wonderful Maddie and we are going to have a little fun practice on how you can smash your any limiting belief that you have, any limiting belief. How are you Maddie? I'm good. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> okay, so uh, I was trying, I thought we'd just go straight into the tuning in for it, but if you, uh, if you're happy to do this, just if you just close your eyes and just kind of like tune in and just let rid of any toxicity that you have from the day. Yeah, cool. And then just let anything come to you that needs to come to you. And take as much time as you need when you want to come back into the sharing space. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> okay. Cool. Okay, you can open your eyes. So if I was just to ask you, and this is, we can all do this, and we, the more we do it, the better we get at getting rid of resistance. If I was to ask you, uh, what's the limiting beliefs that came through for you? Did you, did something come to you? Um. It's relating to money and not having enough. <laughs> oh my god! Do you know? Like, I I really hope that when other people watch this, they crack up because like there's this thing going on in the world. Like there's this particular planet that's really shaking up our monetary system, yeah. and like literally everybody I know is freaking out about money. <laughs> and. I'm not even a person that freaks out about money, but I've started freaking out about it just like, you know, because everyone around me, it's like, it, it's Uranus and Taurus and it's going to, and we've got a Mars retrograde coming. So we're going to continue to do a bit of shaking up, but I'm so it pleased. That even what that. was my issue today, except that that's come to me through family <laughs> so, today. Well, maybe right. you're an empath and you're soaking up the whole world's pattern as well okay so this is cool this is thank you so much for bringing that in Maddie so if you well I'm gonna um just ask you some questions and if you want to take notes this is how you do it for yourself so first thing you said you say is do I have a limiting belief and if you do that doesn't come you can say what is between this goal that I have and where I am now and that will bring you also your limiting belief so when you have it, the first thing I always say is just do a bit of grounding, which is just really some breathing. Some yep. I like the breath of breathing in my mouth and breathing out my nose because it brings a lot of energy into your mind and helps you to, you know, kind of like really focus. So you just breathe in like and then breathe out your nose. And keep coming and more and more, 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 more. Yeah, and when you breathe out, get all of the lungs, air and stale air, breathe it out. Keep going, keep going, keep going. More, more, more. And breathe in. <laughs> and last one, and really blow it out the last one. How do you feel? Rounded? Rounded. Great. Okay, so what is the first memory that you have around limited wealth or your money block? First memory. The Don't. first thing that just came up to me, which is like this is like a nine-year-old memory. I can't, couldn't, wasn't going back further, but just remember having my money stolen. Okay, great. So, were you inside or outside? Outside. Alone or with others? With others. Okay. So write, again, this, this is the notes that you write for yourself because it comes so fast and you never, ever, 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 as whatever comes to you, it's that's the trauma or the trigger and you made a decision that, what? so tell me the decision that you made when the money was stolen and some of the emotions. To let someone else try and fix it. And that someone else was? A, a, a stranger who I never saw again. Right. And can you tell me the emotions that you were feeling? There was that moment of 
oh, great, they're going to catch them and get my money back. And then the letdown of the feeling that actually it was probably their friend. And right. so I felt completely let down and emotions lacking. Emotions were um, to do with uh, not not having control. Um, mm -hmm. Emotionally upset, weak. Yeah, sorry, I'm just getting my headphones because we've got yeah. we've got renovations, and I know the skill saw is going to start up. Yeah. Uh, so, but the emotions, like the emotions, if you can think, um, uh, I, I think I was really a little, guilt, little scared, a little shame, bit scared, yeah. um, a little bit ashamed that I'd let that happen. Yeah. Yeah, did you feel these emotions, these negative emotions in your body? On my back than anything. Mm, okay, thank you. Um, so, would you say that this is a core belief that has formed? You pretty much know it's like it's something that like you can you know it's sitting in your back. You can still mm -hmm. feel it. Yeah, because it's a tightness. It's a a mm. yeah a heaviness. Yeah, and. Generally, if we have a core belief, it means it'll show up again in our adult lives about from 35 plus. So we keep playing through this, essentially this, because we made a de the decision that you made was that you trusted somebody who was, you know, you trust and your trust has been eroded and something precious has been taken and you can't get it back. Is that with that? Is there any other? Parts of the yeah, decision there? Yeah. yeah. That's it. So over your life, how much do you think the decision around you not being able to protect your own money or having it stolen from when it's stolen or be able to see scamsters? <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, consciously it's just it was just a little thing that happened and mm. not a major, but I think that subconsciously it has um made me feel like I don't have control over money. Mm -hmm. And what do you think it's actually cost you, like, in your life? Has it cost you financially? Has it cost you in relationships? Has it cost you uh, confidence? What would you, what, what's been some of the costs for this? Confidence and the courage to actually take, take actions when it mm. involves money. Yeah, decisions around money are always really hard. Okay, that's awesome. So are you prepared to let go of this limiting belief? I definitely am. Say it for me I am and say the belief. I am. I am going to let go of this negative, this limiting belief about money. Um, yeah. And I'm going to let go of this limiting belief about my lack of control of money. Okay, now I want you to say this from your heart center. I want you to really feel it, not think it. I want you to bring your whole heart into it and really say it so your subconscious can hear. <laughs> I am willing to let go of this limiting belief about, about my inability to control money. Hmm. Awesome. Okay, so what is the new belief that you have and it's got to be about you it's got to be positive and it has to be now because it exists now i have total control over my life in relation to money awesome awesome and do you have any little goal that you're working on around this new Belief? Is there a little goal? Like, are you just? Is there something you're working on at the moment, or little or big? Doesn't have to be little. Yeah, it's it's the belief that I have the value to earn earn money online, like earn to develop an online income. That is so cool, so cool. Okay, so what we're going to do now is the fun part, because 
we're not only just going to, you've released and we're cleared, transmuted across all time, space, dimensions, reality, boof, away goes that belief. Now, the really good bit is to go back to when you were nine and you can just close your eyes. If you want to use the eye patch now, I'm just going to do a super quick little self-hypnosis that you can do any time. Yep. Probably. I love that. <laughs> you look like a total happy. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's about the right timing. <laughs> <laughs> that's so awesome. Okay. So, right. so we'll do a three deep breaths again through the mouth and then blowing out all when you're ready. Breathe in Papa Tōnaku, come down with Rangi Nui, blow out the tension, tension, awesome. Breathe in creativity, hold your heart, expand your power and release when you're ready. Just get rid of all the resistance, clear and transmute that belief, limiting belief, clear and transmute. All time, space, dimensions, reality. Okay, just close and come back to a natural flowing breath. Just relaxing, relaxing, relaxing and come into your third eye, your mafakati. And just feel the energy swirling around. So like that logo behind me, that swirl of the universe, te kori. And deepen and deepen and just feel yourself coming in to this beautiful warm space of creation. Just allow yourself to walk down a corridor back to the scene. As you're walking down, open your heart more. Expand who you truly are, your non-physical creator being. Loving yourself more, valuing yourself more, imagining yourself as a nine-year-old, bring yourself into the scene, bring in all the details all the colours and replay the scene as you would choose what is happening when you are powerful, empowered. What are you doing? See the colours, really bring your senses, your extra sensory perception into the scene. And sometimes we need a little bit of guidance. You may or may not. If you need some guidance from someone or something that helps you to stand in your power, to take back your authority. Just allow yourself that. If there's any wisdom to receive from self or others here, just really feel absolutely everything you need changing and feel your power to change the nine-year-old. Give her a hug. Tell her everything is always okay. Tell her you love her and let your higher guidance do the rest of the work. So amazing. I always like to look at my feet here. What are all, what are, am I wearing? Are you wearing shoes? 
just feel your feet because you're walking in this new power that you have to shift and change. You can change anything. <laughs> Doesn't matter about the noise. Someone else is going in. <laughs> So because you've done so well, is there any more you need to do, Maddie, to change here? No, okay. So we want to celebrate this win now. So stay in the same. Yeah. And if you want to, again, just like you can. (laughs) I wonder who that was. The universe was calling. Interesting. (laughs) Right at the moment of celebration. So I want you to really now bring in this depth of celebration because you just did something cool. You smashed a belief. You placed the new one in there. So we got to celebrate it. So however you celebrate on your terms and go big. I always like to bring in universal characters. But you don't have to. You can be universal or physical or whatever. <laughs> that was a big smile. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I love that. I love the throwing off. And then bring that celebration. Just feel it like in every single pore, every single, all the space dust, the 99% and every single trillion one of your cells. Bring that power of your celebrating in mm, I just have a hunch of who was calling I think it <laughs> might be connected. <laughs> <laughs> that's so cool and that's how they can wait yeah that day I <laughs> gotta have to wait because <laughs> yeah. we are reshooting the scene or finding a new perspective and I want you now does to so as you're in this celebratory uh, state, I want you to give me, I want you to tell me one thing you're going to do in the physical world with your new belief, one practice or one that you're going to repeat because this will strengthen the neural pathway and take it from a little skinny, skinny, skinny thread into the weaving of your kete. So tell me one thing you're going to do to cement this one. It's- uh, just trying to word it right. It's about passing on to my sister that we are ser- we have serious abundance in our future. So, are you going to ring your sister? The belief, yeah, yeah. Well, you got it now. It's not in your future. It's here. Yeah, it is now. now. I, yeah, yeah, we are seriously abundant, and we have. We have control over our, uh, yeah, together we're going to yeah. take on the world. <laughs> awesome. That's so awesome. So when you're ready, you can just take off your, um, you can take off the, the, the blindfold, which really is just to deepen that little imagination part. Because, mm-hmm. um, yeah, you have done something amazing. So tell me about what happened in there. Tell us, tell us about yeah. so we can share it. What happened? Oh, in, so what, what happened, happened in there? I was, it was actually my corridor was a line of trees, which was really nice. Mm. It was a, a tree-lined corridor. And then when I was there, there was a sense of not, not only not letting go of what was important to me, and standing up for myself, but there was also, there wasn't somebody else there who saved it for me or saved me. Mm. They were just there, whether it was me or my higher self or something, was Mm. just a sense of somebody there that made sure it was, I was safe (laughs) and Mm. made sure I was in control. Mm. And they were just, just there backing me up. And then at the end of it, I realised that I was there with my sister and it was the Mm. two of us Mm. that were going through this and that have been on a journey ever since that hasn't quite gelled. So, yeah, so there was that sense of, oh, yay, it's both of us. Both of us have had a shift here. You had a twin sister. No, she's not a twin. She's she's very close, though. Yeah, yeah, she was calling. 
<laughs> <Maybe. Okay. laughs> so the only thing that you really need to do just with the affirmation, so you're going to make a phone call and say that, but I would also say to you, a morning meditation mm -hmm. that is three minutes, six minutes or nine minutes that you do around this with because the slower you the more you slow your brain down yeah. so every single time we do that yeah that blocks out 90 percent of the incoming stimulation because yeah. our yeah. eyes are fully stimulated so as soon yeah. as we sleep as soon as we meditate we literally cut out the noise the distraction and we have to go within yeah. So okay. in addition to ringing your sister and affirming that with her, if you use your slow brain waves and mm -hmm. use just, yes. and it doesn't have to be a big deal, it can be six minutes. We're all busy. It could be, I just like three, six, nine because they're magical yeah. resonances. But it could be any and anything that yeah, you course. do that just affirms. And it's, I think the real thing, Maddie, that you need to remember is that whatever belief and whatever decision we made in the past doesn't rule us now. Yeah. Yeah. And when we when we change that, we actually go back and do all of that magic and now reshoot the scene, form a new perspective, place the new me memory there, celebrate the win, give love to ourselves. It just, yeah, things just shift. Quantum yeah. shifts occur. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No. <laughs> so do you, I, I, I know you've got my videos, but do you think you'd be able to do that yourselves? Yes. So, um, yeah. As far as the yes. Yeah. This, I think yeah. I've um I've got that um I'll just share it with you because I did post it. Did you uh have you seen that? Does can you No, I didn't see that. Okay. I I yeah. this is my diagram to make it easy. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I just, I basically just follow through with that. I think the only thing I didn't do, and this is, is just around that going back to the event, yeah. you can actually call up all yourselves where you made the decision and, yeah. and, and like do that work around changing it with all of the cells, giving them a big hug and, and, and reshifting. But this basically shows with both sides of the brain, you really want to use your logic. It's really, really important and, and have intent, but it's also really important to let your slow imagination, those creative brain waves, like mm -hmm. bring in, do the creative process. Mm -hmm. And and literally uh, you could do it with this belief, but you could. I think what, what happens is if you just ask yourself, as we did at the beginning, just let what comes to you, always let yourself be guided by yourself. So you might go in saying, well, I'm going to be dealing with this, this money block, and then you'll, um, but you'll come back to whatever comes. Let it come just as you did today. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm really happy to share that with you as well and um, so that you have it. And, yeah, do you have any questions about this little process? No. No. <laughs> oh. Well, how long that took us? Just under half an hour. It was good. Now, yeah, that's good. Yeah. yeah. And I just you. want to say, obviously, you're spot on on doing videos and and um, putting things out there. But if you do want any help with any editing or video stuff, I want to be able to give back to you because oh you've just given me some um, something precious from your time. Oh, thank you, thank you very much. Well, um, thanks, Mary. I appreciate that. And um, just in terms of this recording, because I probably am going to share, if anybody else wants to do this, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> they can reach out on my socials and I will go through this process with you. But thank you, Maddie. <laughs> yeah, cool. <laughs>